guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a long awaited first impression, and not just a first impression, but a full face first impression. I feel like it's been forever since I've done this full face first impression. It has been actually, so I'm really, really excited. I've got so many new products that I haven't even tried, I haven't tested out, and I'm so excited to try them out here on camera and see how they work and if they're good or not. So, without further ado, let's just hop right into it. I really hope you guys are excited because I freaking am. So the first thing that I'm gonna try out is the NARS Pore and Shine Control Primer. As you may or may not know, um, my skin type is more on the drier side, so I'm a bit scared about if this one is gonna make me really, really mad, but let's try it out and see how it works. I feel like the NARS are so amazing with their products, but they've just been missing some good, like really, really good primers. So this is exciting. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a white creamy texture and base. Doesn't give any color and it feels really smooth, really, really smooth. I really like the texture of this one. Just the feel of my skin, it feels very, very smooth and I actually really like that. And shine wise, fine. I'm not shining at all, so that's cool. The foundation that we're gonna be using today is from Urban Decay. It is the All Nighter Liquid Foundation. Some people, they love it because it's really like full coverage and some people, they absolutely hate it because it's way too thick and way too cakey on their skin. It says here on the back, the ultimate foundation for flawless looking complexion. This waterproof formula provides complete coverage that lasts all day or all night with a modern matte finish that never looks overdone. We loaded this full coverage foundation with such an insane amount of pigment that a little goes a long way. So once again, it is full coverage and there's no need to build your coverage or apply multiple layers so only one layer important and um, light diffusing pigments blur flaws for beautifully perfect skin while high-tech ingredients mattify and absorb oil to reduce the appearance of shine so all in all, it is oil absorbing, it is great for oily skin, full coverage, let's get it on. The actual bottle or packaging is really, really cool. I actually really like it, like this chrome kind of finish on the packaging. Luckily, it comes with a pump, which is good. To blend in the foundation, you would probably think that I'm going to be using my one true love, my beauty blender, but not today. I am going to be using a new brush that I got sent from a brand called Eloise. And this is a teardrop brush, and when you see it, guys, I was like, oh, it is freaking huge. Look at this compared to my face. It is so stunning though. I love the rose gold details and just a little handle. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a really pretty brush. And as you can see, it's shaped as a teardrop. It feels really soft and lovely, but still very dense. But honestly, the size of this one is crazy compared to my face. Just look, it literally covers my entire cheek. So let's try to get the foundation on and blend it in with this one. Mm -hmm. Just shaking it. Don't know if I have to, but doing it anyway. So as you can see, it's not a really, really thick foundation. It actually runs down my face right now, so that is good. Not a really like special uh, scent or anything like that. Let's try the big boy. I'm not even sure how to do this. <laughs> what the hell? This feels weird. Ew, I got it all over my lips now. Wow, it is matte. For my skin, it is definitely way too matte because I can already see now how it is starting to settle into my drier areas on my face. I'm not saying it's a bad foundation, but for right now, already now, I can tell that it is way too matte for my skin, so it definitely doesn't look its best on me. Color-wise, it matches me like a dream, as you can see. It is a perfect color for me because it's a tiny bit yellow in the undertone as well. Uh, the brush, you know what? I, I actually don't hate it. it is, it's actually quite good because it is that big that it covers a large area at a time, so I don't have to work that much with foundation. But just seeing how nice it is actually blending it into my skin, that is actually pretty impressive. For concealer, I've got one from Makeup Forever. It is the Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer. As far as I know, you can both use it under the eyes, but also just around on pimples, spots, redness, whatever you've got. I've got it in the color Y23. Let's try it out. And I like that it comes in this kind of like a squeezy tube. And then with this kind of an applicator that is kind of fun. Neighbors, the struggle. So let's just try to get it out here. 
cute. So I think color wise it's actually okay. And the Y stands for yellow just to let you know. They both got some that says R and Y. And now I'm gonna be using a beauty blender and this one is actually also new. So it's really cute and pink. I actually like it. I like the formula because it's not very thick at all. I did have to use fairly much product actually. So it's not totally full coverage, and, but it really looks pretty actually. And I like that it feels a bit more hydrating under the eyes than the foundation. <laughs> and now before moving on, I'm gonna be using the Cream Contour Kit from Anastasia. I've never tried this before. That is crazy. It's been out for like ages and I haven't tried it. And this one is just the light version. Let's give it a try. Um, love the colors, they're really great. I'm probably gonna be using that one out there or that one. And then I've got a new brush here from Narshi. It's called Buff Base that I'm gonna be using to buff it in. It is probably better for foundation, but we'll try for this. I want it to look somewhat natural. Color is really good. However, I do feel like that it is a tiny bit difficult for me to actually blend into the skin. However, I do think that is because of the foundation underneath because it is that dry. But I actually really like the color of this one. Tiny bit of nose contouring as well with this one. And then let's just take the highlighting shades kind of thing. Just a tiny bit. But actually I do like it. It is not too bad and it's not too natural either. So this is probably kind of like my kind of contour. For the brows, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Brow Definer. This is a triangular brow pencil. Um, but I haven't tried this one before, so obviously it's a first impression. Duh. Here is the product and the packaging. Really standard, very classic. You've got the actual product right here. As you can see, it comes as a pencil, a triangular shaped one. And then in the other end, you've got a spoolie, which is nice. So I'm just gonna be using the spoolie firstly. So you get the brows in the same direction. So let's try to get it in. It is definitely a bit more of a drier texture brow pencil. Not as creamy as the brow is. And I like the angles on it as well. I mean, I actually use the pointy side a lot. So here's the brows when the product is in and I actually really really like it. The finish result is really good. However, I would say I like this one but once the pointy tip is gone, it is actually just very flat and very difficult for me to get those straight lines. It's probably better for those of you who just wants to fill in some small gaps in your brows. If you want to make them very defined and so on, I will still go for the brow waist. However, to set down the brows, I'm going to be using the Delilah Brow Shape Defining Brow Gel. It's in a color called Sable. Love the packaging. Really, really pretty. Oh, it's tiny! It is actually even smaller than the Gimme Brow Brush. Oh, the color. I can already say now I am in love with this product. I think it's amazing. I like how it sets the brows and just gives a tiny bit more texture to the brow without being too stiff or too anything. The color is a tiny bit off because it's a tiny bit too dark for me, but whatever, that's just the color. It has nothing to do with the actual product and the actual product is amazing. For eyeshadows, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette, depending on how you do this. The color selection is amazing, you guys. I can't even. I'm so excited. I love that you've got some shimmers and glitters up here and then all matte down there. But do I want to go purple, green? No. I've got it. First of all, I'm just using a tiny bit of the NARS um, Soft Matte Creamy Concealer. So what we're gonna be doing is that I'm gonna take velvet down there, that burgundy, red, purpley color, and putting it in my crease. And then I'm gonna take Suede over there, the third color, gently blend upwards. So we get kind of like a soft cut crease. It's actually more of an aubergine kind of color when it gets on the skin. And then just blending it with Suede. 
and then just going back once again with the concealer and I'm actually applying quite a thick layer of that one and with my finger I'm gonna pick up the one called tinsel right there which is kind of like a metal shade that one there that is such a stunning color. Oh my God, I am literally dying inside right now. Let's just keep it very straightforward and use velvet once again underneath the eyes. As a finishing touch, I'm gonna be grabbing bone right there, which is just a matte color. And I'm just gonna pop it under my brows. with this palette can I just say I mean the result speaks for itself I think it's so pretty great colors I love there's such a huge variety of shades that you can use for mascara I'm gonna be using the by Terry mascara terribly mascara serum growth booster mascara that was a lot of mascara in one sentence wow oh I love the packaging just look at that that is so pretty very luxurious looking. So as you can see, the brush is kind of standard actually, nothing too special. Doesn't smell too bad either or funky. Volume is nowhere to be found, but separation and great everyday lashes definitely. And before applying it underneath, actually, I'm just gonna set down or bake under my eyes with the new Kat Von D setting powder. This is translucent, but I like that it's a tiny bit of a yellow tone to it, so it's not a whitish effect that you get from it. And I don't even know if this is made for baking, but we're gonna try it. This is a first impression. I love that it's shaped like a star in there. Feels very lightweight so far. While that is baking away, let's just move on to some blush. So I'm gonna be using the NARS Narcissist, what do you call, unfiltered number two cheek palette. Such great colors in here. For blush, I think that I'm personally gonna be using these two, kind of like a mixture. So it's kind of like gonna be a bronzy, blushy color. So you do get a tiny bit of a peachy, clementine kind of color. <laughs> if that's even a description, I don't know. Yeah, just really pretty and kind of natural as well. And for highlighter, while we're still waiting, I am going to be using the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlighting Powder Duo. And this is in the shade Warm Glow. Oh, so pretty. It's definitely warm tone, but I like that. And I'm just going to mix them together. Maybe try to use my finger. Yes, baby. <laughs> it's like, if you want pigment, just use your finger. It's gonna be using it down on the bridge of my nose. Oh, that is stunning for that. Great color for that. Normally I do get a bit more of a highlighted effect from my highlighters, but I guess everything is just so freaking dry on me that it won't really cling down and stick to my skin. But a really pretty, very subtle right now. So I do like it and I think that I can get even more pigment out of it when I use some other foundations. Now let's just dust away the excess powder underneath the eyes from the baking. Honestly, it just looks really dry. <laughs> from a distance, it looks amazing. It's just up close, it's a bit more like, you've got problems, girl. And now we're gonna apply the mascara on the bottom lashes. I do like the mascara, it is not as volumizing as I thought it was gonna be, definitely not, but a great everyday mascara. And lastly for the lips, I wanna keep them very, very simple, so I'm gonna be using the Rituals Lip Gloss. I didn't know that the Rituals they did makeup, so I'm just like, I'm so excited. And this is in the shade Hazel Sheer. Love the color just from the exterior right here, and love the packaging as well. Ah, oh, that is a pretty color. So here's the 
finished result of all of the products and honestly I love this look but now I'm gonna wait till the end of the day so we can see how well it's all lasted on my skin it's also kind of like the only way that we really get to see how well the primer is done so I'm really excited about that but thank you so much for watching so far and stay tuned hey guys so right now it's around 11 o'clock at night time and I should really head to bed I'm going to some different events tomorrow with fashion week so I'm just like what am I even doing right now? <laughs> but I just wanted to update you on the finish of the makeup and how well it's lasted during the day. Honestly, I haven't been doing way too much else than just working, working, working. And let me just say, when I look at the um, eyeshadows, it still looks intact. I am so impressed with how well they've lasted. Foundation-wise, it is starting to look a tiny bit more shiny here and also up here. So it has kind of like mixed together with my own oils in my skin if you get what I mean but it has definitely felt very very dry during the day and it still feels kind of dry so it hasn't been the best feeling of my skin if you get what I mean um, lip gloss is totally worn off because I've been eating when talking about the mascara <laughs> I don't know if you can see this much party going on but oh my god it's having fun I don't know if it's because the powder that I used on my eyes is just not made for baking so it didn't really set down as much as I wanted it to or if it's just because of the mascara that just doesn't work for my bottom lashes. Either way, it is smudged, unfortunately. I've got panda eyes. One thing that I forgot to mention actually from the last time that I said goodbye to you guys was actually that I was really impressed by this one. The brush, the um, teardrop brush. I really liked it. I'm definitely gonna try to work with it with some other different foundations because as I said, this is not the best foundation for my skin, but with my NARS Sheer Glow or something like that, I'm sure this is gonna be amazing. Concealer-wise, fine as well. It didn't feel heavy. And also now that I get up close, I don't know if you can see, but my skin just looks really dry. Thank you so very much for watching, and um, please like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And go check out my Instagram because I've got a huge giveaway over there. And um, I just want to say thank you so much for all of the support on my Kingdom of Legacy second channel. Mwah! Means the world to me. I love you all to the moon and back and everywhere else.